Glad found Spirit Day on Facebook, amplified my voice, and now together we are changing the world. Facebook is a huge part of my life and my generation's life, and I definitely wouldn't be standing up here without it. And when it comes to Facebook's relationship with Glad and the work they are doing to support their LGBT members, I can sum it up in one word, like. <laughs> In partnership with GLAAD and other organizations, Facebook has created a network of support to address the specific issues the LGBT community faces in the online world. They've put policies into place to prohibit and remove hateful posts and spam. Facebook is also providing LGBT teens and their parents with information, resources, and support to combat bullying. For example, Facebook offers tips on how LGBT teens can protect themselves. They also suggest that LGBT teens stick up for others, think twice before posting, reach out whenever they feel overwhelmed, and remember that they are not alone in their struggle. Facebook even created an interactive social media pledge to stop bullying. Yes, there's an app for that. Best of all, Facebook celebrates its members and staff by supporting inclusiveness and creating a culture of diversity. Last year, 300 Facebook families and friends marched in San Francisco Pride for the first time. <laughs> and Facebook employees created an It Gets Better video that has been viewed by hundreds of thousands of people. Facebook amplifies our voices, letting us freely share our stories on every wall with every post, and helps us take action. Take a look. Here to accept GLAD's 2012 Special Recognition Award, please welcome Facebook's Andrew Noyes and Sarah Sperling. Wow, I'm not Mark Zuckerberg. <laughs> uh, first, we'd really like to thank some amazing people who made this possible. The phenomenal staff at GLAAD for giving us this award. Um, we've learned so much from GLAAD and we really look forward to continuing uh, to our collaborations in the uh, months and years ahead. Uh, it's been a big month for us, big couple weeks. Uh, our boss got his relationship status changed to married. Uh, and we also want to thank Facebook's executives and employees who create an, a, an amazing place for us to be our authentic selves. Um, some of our colleagues uh, from Facebook are here with us tonight. <laughs> and they're joined by one of our biggest allies on the executive team, Elliot Schrey. And he's my boss. <laughs> So we're, we're so excited to be able to share this award with them, uh, with our colleagues at headquarters and our offices around the world. And, and of course, uh, we have to thank you uh, and all of the people who use Facebook, because without whom we wouldn't be here tonight, uh, we wouldn't have the best jobs on the planet. Each of you are making real connections and influencing opinions and changing lives in ways that are both large and small. A columnist reflecting on President Obama's recent statement about gay marriage wrote that uh, something that I liked and I shared with my friends. He wrote that Facebook has literally put a face on, a human face on the LGBT rights movement. He explained that something that I had begun to take for granted, which is when I share photos of myself and my partner uh, and my fr another friend likes those posts, that network of people now knows that my friend knows and likes someone who's gay. This network effect breaks down barriers between LGBT people and those whom we can enlist as allies, and at the very least, Facebook friends. Simple actions like this are helping to connect the world and promote acceptance and equality in a way that has never been done before. And this technological and cultural change has helped break down barriers, but it's also uh, produced some challenges. We created our network of support with the amazing help of groups like GLAAD after witnessing a rash of suicides among LGBT young people, as well as several other high-profile instances of anti-gay comments and hate speech. 
We stepped up to combat bullying and change attitudes through a number of programs, including our Stop Bullying, Speak Up campaign, which just this week expanded to Latin America, and the forthcoming Platform for Good, which will empower parents, teachers, and kids to connect and share knowledge around online safety while becoming uh, responsible digital citizens. So keep an eye out for that. Great, and I wanna share, we get tons of stories at Facebook of, of how the platform has affected um, our community here. We know of an openly gay teen activist, Joey Kemmerling, who started the Equality Project on Facebook a few years ago to support teens who, like themselves, were being bullied. The community on Facebook allowed him to advocate for safe schools uh, to an audience around the world. And then there's our friend, Seattle mom, Cheryl Killa Davis, whose young son liked to wear dresses. So she went on Facebook to let her friends know and find a support. And from that, she wrote a book called My Princess Boy. And she really uh, gives much of the credit for her being um, on Good Morning America and all these TV shows uh, to Facebook and being able to do that on Facebook. And then finally, a story about two lesbians from United Arab Emirates. They met and found each other on Facebook. You can't meet in bars there. There's no gay neighborhood, there's no resources at all. And so actually being gay there is life-threatening. Their families found out, so they actually had very few options. One was not be together, the other was stay together and risk being beaten or even killed. And then finally, the third option was to leave the country and actually be together and, and lose all their money and all their family and all their friends, and they chose the last option. Once they went to a safe country, the first thing they did is they logged onto Facebook to find resources. And they found the National Center of Lesbian Rights, which is here in, um, in the Bay Area. Yeah. Um, the couple now lives in Oakland, of, of course, uh, you know, with every other lesbian couple. And NCLR is... Uh, is now working on their asylum case. So it's great, great stuff. And when we hear stories like this, it reminds me and it reminds my colleagues that we've come a long way, but we have a long way to go. And that's why we need all of you. We need you to get out there. And I know you have a lot of homework from tonight, like giving a lot of money, but we need you to be out there, be creative, use our platform, share articles about LGBT people, create groups that provide support, update your relationship status, maybe after tonight. Um, with your help, we can actually make something greater, not just a platform, but a platform of compassion. Um, and and uh, after you've taken this action, tell us what you've done. Uh, we want to hear how Facebook has affected your life, and we want to be able to share these stories and celebrate all of our successes together as a family. Again, huge thanks to GLAD. Thank to all of you that made it possible. Thank you to my colleagues, um, and thank you to all of you. Have a great night.